Hey everybody, um, I'm in a different lighting right now, uh, I don't have a light in my room, but I hit here today since we are in school and I haven't uploaded in over a week, you know, hopefully you guys are in school, you know, I hope that, you know, you guys are getting a longer summer than me, but I'm here to talk about teachers, some of them are complete assholes. Some of them are awesome. Some of them you want want to have for your, all your hours. And I have one like that this year. I'll get I'll get to that later. Um, the thing is about teachers is that there's some that you don't like. There's some that you may like. Some you may like a little. Some that are like okay, yeah, he's nice, but I don't want him to, I don't want to you know be here every day. You know, like he has his good days. He has his bad days. And there are some teachers that just had their really bad days. I know all about that. I know teachers who have been mean every day. I know teachers who have been, you know, they say the most idiotic things. Um, and they think, oh, well, since I'm a teacher, I'm smarter than you. Ho, ho, ho. Not always true. I don't follow the whole, just because I'm an adult, I'm right thing. I think that's stupid. I think that's... Far out of proportionally stupid. Teachers especially think since they are the boss of the class, they think they can get away with whatever they want. Because I had a teacher last year who would go around the room and only to me and my friends. There's one of my friends, one, Uno, uh, who got whacked with the walking stick that he had. I freaking hated that teacher. I would I would wish it upon any of you to have a teacher like that. Not even my worst enemy. I wouldn't even wish it, uh, wish it on uh, Hitler. That's how bad this guy was. Okay, I'm not going to name names. I'm only going to name good names. I'm not going to be that much of a dick. Um, but uh, I'm only going to name good names. Uh, one of the teachers that I do like this year, his name is Mr. DeSeller. And he is freaking awesome. I just had a test today, which... Tests are his most boring days. I can kind of see that. But when he is teaching, he sounds like no other teacher. It's just freaking amazing. Um, Miss Brown, my science teacher, flipping awesome. She'd have her bad days, but she was awesome. Um, let's get back to the one about the teacher with the walking stick. The one with the walking stick, uh, he just, he was a freaking idiot. I hated him. He thought, okay, I'm the boss. I, I know right from wrong. Okay, you do what I say when I say it. I don't follow those rules. Probably why him and I didn't get along. And probably because I'm, I'm some of the people, I'm one of the people who don't take a lot of things seriously. And that hurts me in a lot of situations. But this guy did, just did, did not know how to have fun. He did not, at any situation, any point of the day, did he try to have fun. Fridays were his fun days. I'll give him that. Fridays were his fun days. Movies, popcorn, donuts, whatever. You wanted to bring him. You wanted to bring it in. You wanted him to bring it in, and you were involved in the party. Then you were you were good. You liked him that day. Now I've gotten text messages and videos from my friends uh, about when the days I'm sick or you know days I just because that my mom lets me have a couple free days a year. Uh, the days you know. That I'm home, basically, you know. I'm on vacation, I'm out of town, something like that. Uh, I get text messages and videos from friends saying, Dude, this guy is in the best fucking mood today. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's because you're not here. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure it is. Because there was a time, I still have a video of my friend. I don't have, I don't, I don't have it. One of my friends has, one of, one of my friends is curse, cussing out my teacher. It was freaking hilarious. Of course, he got sent down to detention for it, but uh, it was hilarious. I think he was gone for three days because of this. But I think he told him to fuck off, basically. Basically, what he told him is to just fuck off. Um, and that he's a lousy asshole and he treats me like shit. Because this guy actually, this guy is about, this guy is 6'3". He is way, way tall for an 8th grader. At the time, 7th grader. But... This guy was freaking cussing out a 7th grade teacher. And I'm like, 
why is this guy even letting him to cuss him out this long? It's like he listened to him for all the sen- all the sentence. It's like, wow, I can't believe you know he just did this. But seventh grade, if I wasn't in that teacher's classroom, I was fine. There's a teacher that goes to all the Griffins games, and that's the only time I'm ever I'm ever getting along with her. At school, we are like arch enemies. She yells at me, I yell at her. Uh, we don't get along at anything. Or, you know, we don't agree on anything. But when we're at the Griffins games, because I go to many a year. I go to about 20 a year. 15 a year, something like that. And her and I are best friends with the Griffins games, because she works in their drum line. So it's like, how in the f- does this work out, but not at school? And like, what the hell's going on? But, it's just, it's surprising to me that I've hated this many teachers, and like this many teachers, at the same time. I don't like a lot of my teachers. I think teachers are boring. But my teacher, Mr. DeSellier, is the best. I would wish you guys had a teacher like him every year. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video here. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you guys have to do. Um... But yeah, thanks for watching.